Hello and welcome back to the Fodor player career mode. In the last episode, we managed to win the league, win the Coppa Italia and complete the domestic treble. But now, obviously, as you can see, the European Championship happened and unfortunately we didn't play. Because we bloody bottled it in the qualifying. But this is how the groups look. Belgium and Spain went through. Norway and Sweden went through. The Netherlands knocked down the groups. Portugal and Germany, England knocked out, and France, Finland through. The quarterfinals were Belgium beating Sweden, Portugal beating Finland, Norway beating Spain, and France beating Germany. That is such a wank quarterfinal, by the way. Semi-finals, Belgium beat Portugal, France beat Norway, with France lifting the trophy. Now, as you obviously kick into the new season, transfer window is open. We've done no business besides selling Mason Mount to Leeds for $35 million. Other than that, we've done absolutely nothing. And we are kicking off the new season, the new campaign, as we host Parma. Obviously, we destroyed the Serie A last season, winning by 15 points or 17 points. Something outrageous. So hopefully we can do it again. Hey, Oshim, nice. Oshim, can you play me? What? Oshim, that is behind me, brother. What is that for a pass? Okay, this play is really fast-paced. I can't even keep up. The Georgians through! And save, Fodor should tap it in, he does! Come on! We're off the mark, 12 minutes in. Fodor, the poacher, the anticipation was there. And we take the lead. That was really good play. I was struggling to keep up, to be honest. Oh, you can play with through, Fodor. It's through here. Oh, been taken wide. It's fine, I'll play the Georgian. The Georgian can't get a shot away. Fodor, tackles for near. <laughs> I'm la it's laid off. It's in! What is going on? I don't know. It's 2-0, Fodor strikes again. It's a great finish, an absolute clusterfuck to start the season off. They're all over the place. Oh my god, Fodor, what is that? How have you injured yourself? What do you mean I'm fucking injured? Oh, shit. I'm open. Fodor, for the hat trick, on the... Are you fucking kidding me? Why has he hit it so hard? We ran off our injury. Well, we could have ran that off a bit sooner so we could have scored that goal. That would have been nice. Oh, they've given it away. What the fuck are these cuts doing? Fodor can't control the ball. What is going on in this game? And that's half time. 2-0. Should have had a hat trick, but we're absolutely cruising. Okay. Okay. These guys are fucking edgy ass. Oh my god, Fodor. Yes. No! <laughs> way no actual way how do we not how has it not got in how 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 is it perfectly gone across goal nice ball Fodor could be in can I beat this guy for pace and cut it on the inside I can not apparently oh my god can't turn around this has been one of the most stupidest games I've ever played Nice turn, Fodor. How are you not... 90 pace! He's got no stamina left and he beat you to that. That's so bullshit. Georgian, play me. Lovely ball. Fodor. Fodor. Is he finally going to get his hat trick? No! Fuck off! Oh my god, this is awful, bro. This is the most outrageous game. I can't believe we don't have a hat trick. That is a disgrace. We should have had about six. For our second match of the season, we took a trip to Criminose. We took a lead inside 12 minutes as we absolutely carved through them with Oshium finishing it off. And we ended up making it 2-0 with Oshium scoring again. Then Criminose hit back just before the half as Super Seku, also known as Seku Mara, flicked it over our defender to score a truly beautiful goal, and that's just what he does. Criminose nearly equalized as they saw their effort hit the crossbar, but luckily we were able to hold on to take all three points. For our next match, we hosted Lease. We nearly got off to the perfect start as we saw our effort from the free kick come off the crossbar. But we have been off for this game and it was about to get worse as Lease raced through on the counter-attack and made it count as they took the lead with 17 minutes left remaining. And well, we suffered a shocking defeat as we lost 1-0 at home to Lease. We then took a trip away to Selenantana and we took the lead inside 15 minutes with this beautiful ball from Oshium as we sprinted into the box and hit it straight at the keeper but he had a howler and let it dribble in. We then got our second as we peeled away from the defender to strike it home into the side netting. 
We then completed our first half hat trick as we saw our effort just squeeze in. Selendon Tana nearly got their way back into the game, but our beautiful goalkeeper had other ideas. But we went straight back down the other end as Fodor raced through, and look at the pace. We would score more often if he decided to always run like this, but as we made it into the box, we rounded the keeper and slotted it home to get our fourth. But Selendon Tana did manage to get a goal as they scored with three minutes remaining. But obviously that goal didn't matter as we cruised to three points. All right, so here we are for our opening game in the Champions League for this season. We are hosting Atletico Madrid, and this is our group. We have obviously Atletico Madrid, we have Leipzig, and we have uh, Jura Gardens IF. Yep, pretty difficult group. I mean, Atletico and Leipzig aren't exactly going to be easy. We've got to get off to a good start. Yeah. Fodor. Oh, fuck off. Where's he come from? You play me over top, Georgian. I'm through if you play me over top. Come on, mate. Atletico have just carved us. They've just carved. What a save. Oh, you're a hero. You're my hero. Oh, my God, Fodor. What is that dribbling? But he's through. It's Christian Fodor. Bang. Hit. Oh, fuck off. Maybe I should have taken another touch to draw him wider. This is a problem. This is a problem. Who's this? DePaul plays it across. Chance. Mwani. Oh, what a save, keeper. You're a fucking hero, Mwani. You're shit, mad. Yes, play over top, Georgian. Fodor could be in. He could be. It's end-to-end -end football. It's Fodor. No, it's a good save. I accidentally clicked B. And then I clicked it again. Well, it's circle. I'm playing on PS5 controller. I clicked circle twice by accident. And that's half time. Nil all. A pretty eventful first half. Chances going each way. Let's just hope we score in the second half. Score five in the second half would be even better. Oshim, well played. Oshim, lovely ball. Fodor. What a touch. No, I'm offside. Pass off. Oh, fourth. Are you fucking stupid, mate? What are you doing? That's the worst defending ever, bud. Seriously. Atletico building something here. Distant shot. <sighs> I mean, I was going to say how'd that go in, but in reality, it's gone through about three people. I mean, the keeper's sort of blindsided. I mean, he's not seeing that ball till very, very late. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I won't blame the keeper. He's already saved their ass a few times. I won't blame him. I won't blame him. Go on. Go on, number seven. Get there, number seven. Fight for it, number seven. Well done. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. It's Fodor. He's in. No, it's a good save. If I was a little bit quicker, I could have played it across goal. Nice play me. Fodor. Into Oshim. Oshim. Still alive. Why would you play it to him? You're an idiot. Nice win, the Georgian. Can you play me, the Georgian? You can. It's Fodor. No way, man. I thought I could get in front of him. Boyf is so easily beaten. Chance for Atletico to make it two. It's wide, but that's game over. Not a good start to our Champions League group. For our next match, we are coming off the bench as we host Sampdoria. The scores are tied at 1-0. And somehow it stayed that way with the Sampdoria keeper pulling off an unbelievable save. But not too long after that, we did manage to take the lead with Fodor smashing it into the side netting. And we sealed the win with Fodor laying it off to Elmas as he coolly dispatches it into the back of the net. And that was the final kick of the game with Fodor coming off the bench to give Napoli all three points. And now we have a big game as we travel away to Roma. Roma beat us last year. Last game of last season, they did beat us. And we only lost like three or four games last season. But this is how the table looks. We currently lead the league with 12 points from our opening five games of Roma. Only sitting in eighth on eight points. What a ball. What a touch. What a finish. Oh, my God. That was actually insane. That ball to the fullback was very nice. And that ball in there is brilliant. That touch is unreal. I can now the air I cooked there. Nice play. The Georgian. Good save. I was kind of hoping it laid off to me. Nice play. Oshian. Finish. Finish. Unlucky. And that's half time. We lead 1 0. Faint to Elmas's goal. Uh, we've been dominant, but it's actually quite difficult to break them down. Barbosa for Roma at the edge. Oh, good save. Good save. Try to get there. Oh, Foyf, we need you to win that. Oh, Foyf, what are you doing? Oh, Foyf, you suck, mate. Darwin Nunez on the penalty. He's going to Peninkera. 
No, he isn't. No, one all. Back and forth, mate. This guy is shit at right back. Oh, Roma in space. Chance for Roma. Oh, good block. Can we counter? Oh, Fodor. Use your, pa use your pace. Use your pace. You should be able to get past this guy. Fodor, you do. You passed him. I see you, wash him. I see you. It's in. Napoli strike on the counter. Fodor's pacing low. I saw him. Now the corner of me. Oh, come on. That's the vision, mate. That's the bird's eye view for you. Nice. Fodor wins it. Fodor. What? No, you're not that fast, number five. We just proved it two seconds ago. You're not that fast. Go on, play me. Lovely ball, Fodor. You're in. It's Christian Fodor to put the game to bed. He rounds the keeper. You are fucking kidding me. <laughs> You're taking the piss, mate. Fucking unreal. Unfucking real, man. Full time, 2 1. We get all three points. We should have scored that. That is fucking infuriating. We then came off the bench as we hosted Fiorentina with the game tied at 1 all. And the only chance we created off the bench was when we won it off the defender but put our shot wide. And that was the only action as we drew nil all. Our next match saw us take a trip to Dura 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 Gardens IF in the Champions League. And we started off perfectly with Fodor scoring this absolutely outrageous free kick to give us a lead. Only minutes later we made it 2-0 with the Georgian finishing it with ease. And we made it 3-0 with Fodor racing away but unfortunately a shot is saved but Oshia manages to tap it in. In the 60th minute we were subbed off as the game was done and we have a big match coming up. We ended up winning 3-0. So we have been nominated for the player of the month, but somehow Jimenez has won it. I don't know how we've lost that, to be honest. And for the final game of this episode, we are traveling away to Juventus. And this is how the table looks. We're tied at the top. We lead on goal difference, but Inter and Juventus are tied with us on 16 points. It's a big title match. Let's bloody get all three points. Nice win, Fodor. How did I not win that? That's a foul. How is it a foul? What a ball. Oh, why have you played that back to me, Lobot Lobotica? You, my friend, have to be the dumbest person on the planet. Nice play. Really nice play. Oshim, stand still. Oh, man's having a fucking aneurysm mid-game. Like, what are you doing? Kick the ball or do something. Nice play. The Georgians in space. Nice ball. Fodor. Whoa! Buddy, old pal. What the fuck was that? Nice, Georgian. If Fodor would run to the... Stop running behind the player! Run around him and get the ball! No, I'll just keep bumming him, mud. Fuck me. Accepted. Nice ball. The Georgian's in. The Georgian's in. Is he going to play it or is he going to go all the way? Fuck, he fucked it! Fodor! No! Why has he kicked... Oh, just a little dink, dumbass. Why has he kicked the shit out of that? Uh, I guess it was because it was in mid-air. Fuck. Nice ball, Fodor. Beautiful ball. The Georgian. How do you not get there, Georgian? I think you're trolling. Half time, nil all. We should have scored. We should have scored. It's been a pretty shit game, to be fair. Lobotka, you have to be on a different plane of existence at this point with your stupid stupidness. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking stupid. Apparently, I can't speak. This guy's so fucking shit. No. Great save. It's in. That's all coming from the bottom going, hey, Georgian, I know you're not making a run. I'm just going to kick it in behind anyway. And then proceed to get intercepted. You're a fucking idiot, Mads. Honestly. Oh, fuck. I don't think we're going to be running this one off, boys. Probably a broken toe or some shit. And we're coming off. I think it's going to be a serious injury. We might be out for a month or two. We won! The Georgian and Oshim turn it around, baby. Fuck off, you vintes. By Joe Wankers. Oh, my life. I've been not hoping for this. And not waiting for this, especially. Three months broken toe. That's depressing. Oh, my God. We've been nominated for the Ballon d'Or. Up against Vinicius Rodrigo and the Georgian, our teammate. Holy fuck. And the Ballon d'Or winner was not us. It was Vinicius Jr. But to be fair, being nominated first season at Napoli is pretty impressive. I'm pretty happy with that. So to end the episode off, I simmed through the three months and we are finally back fit. This is how the table looks. We're three points behind Inter Milan. Juventus have fallen off a cliff. So we're still easily in the title race, which is good. 
But unfortunately, we're not going to win the domestic treble this year as we lost 3-2 to Napoli in the Super Cup semi-final. To, to Atalanta, we're Napoli. Oh, fuck me. The injury's not just injured me, it's injured me Brian. And we ended up winning our Champions League group with Leipzig getting through and Atletico Madrid getting knocked out, which gives us a tie against PSV in the round of 16. Oh, I'm very happy with that. The other ties are Ajax Liverpool, Leipzig Marseille, Leverkusen Arsenal, Milan City, Bayern Atalanta, Newcastle Barca, and Inter PSG. We're missing a few clubs here. Hold on. Real Madrid finished last in their group, even behind young boys. What's going on with that? And I mean, we've had an electric start to the season. Uh, eight goals, four assists in our opening 10 games. Now, obviously, Oshim's buddy taken over the goal scoring as we have been injured. And he's been on fire. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode.